Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for July 27th to the 28th of 2022. Alright, let's get started with an oracle card message for Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius in the next 48 hours, Spirit? What does Sagittarius need to know for July 27th to the 28th of 2022 for Sagittarius? Alright, let's see. All right, we have the veil. This card keeps coming out for everyone. Well, so the veil is clearly thin. People's intuitions are on a hundred. You know when someone's lying or telling the truth. I don't know why I wanted to say that. We have seduction. I'm getting Sagittarius energy with this. Oh, duh. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> so I feel like with the veil and seduction, ooh, okay. And we have wolf. Ooh, yes. A very carnal urge. In the next 48 hours, you're going to feel a very carnal urge. Very sexual energy. Very flirty. Overall energy is potions and spells. 28. So I feel like you're going to be um, feeling the need to do a lot of fire magic. Whether you realize it or not, when you're cooking, you're going to be using a lot of spices. I'm getting like, you know, cinnamon, cayenne pepper, um what is that called anything red really <laughs> but anything spicy as well paprika it's not spicy but it's red i feel like you may be using orange or orange peelings in cooking as well just any type of spice in the next 48 hours i feel like you don't realize it you're drinking a lot of red or orange things anything you know representing fire in the next 48 hours and you're very like again lots of sexual energy i'm getting a lot of fire magic all right let's get into the tarot and get more on this for sagittarius i don't know why i want to say a carnal urge without a wolf and getting like whoo anyway next 48 hours here sagittarius july 27th to the 28th of 2022 for Sagittarius, July 27th to the 28th of 2022 for Sagittarius. So I'm getting in the next 48 hours, the moon is affecting you in that way, in a very sexual way. You just want to release your inhibitions. So you're going to be flirting. Seven of Cups, yeah. Like you're going to be all in this dazed, it's like... It's like a trance. You feel like you're in a trance. Two of swords. Okay, so if someone's trying to manipulate you, that's being blocked. So if you're worried about anyone trying to put a spell on you, if you're worried that this is a spell, it's not. It's blocked. I feel like did, someone did try to put a spell on you, but it's counteracted in a different way. Maybe someone tried to put a spell on you or make you like, you know, attracted to them, but you end up being attractive or attracting other people to you. Queen of Pentacles, so it could have been an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Sorry about the glare. I have like one, two, three, four, five different lights on. <laughs> it's, I wanted everyone to see things clearly. All right, we have the Four Swords. Yeah, you're blocking an Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Four of Swords. You want nothing to do with them. I feel like this person tried to manipulate you back into their life. Okay, so yeah. So someone casted a spell on you or they made you something or I feel like this person knows that you like red wine or pasta or I want to say Cajun pasta or something like that or something to do with orange peelings or spices. Someone made you something that they know you like thinking that like, you know, it would entrance you or you'd be entranced in a sexual energy or they try to come around when you're in this energy, but it does not work. You feel a sexual attraction, you feel sexy, but not for them. You want nothing to do with them. The only thing that spell did was amp up that energy in you and make you want to block this person even more because you go from the two of swords to the four. So not only is it like a temper, two of swords is like a temporary thing, four of swords is two. But it goes from the two to the four. So you just amp that up tremendously. Because you can tell that someone's trying to manipulate and block you. So you can already see what someone's trying to do. And you think it's funny. Because you see right through and it doesn't work. It's like, yeah, you increase my sexual energy. But not for you. 
Overall energy is the four of wands, a strong foundation. So yes, yeah, someone cannot penetrate your energy. Someone cannot manipulate your energy. Someone cannot control it. They're trying their hardest though. You could live with this person. They're cooking for you and they're trying to like make certain foods to make you fall in love with them or make you sleep with them or be attracted to them. And it's just not working. They're trying everything. Cause I'm getting like, I'm seeing this garlic here. I'm getting parsley. It's like this person is pulling out the spell book crystals and all trying to like do their best. Or maybe this person's like a kitchen witch or they just in passing saw a spell online or like a, a dish online that'll make someone fall in love with them. But it does, it does not affect your feelings for them at all. If anything, it makes you dislike them even more. Clarify this message for Sagittarius. So someone could be offering to cook for you in the next 48 hours. <laughs> Clarify this message for Sagittarius. Clarify this message for Sagittarius. Or, or buy you a bottle of wine or a drink or something. Something that's your favorite or something that's like orange or red in color or spicy. All right. Clarifying the Seven of Cups is the Two of Swords. Yeah. Again. So you have the Two of Swords coming right after the Seven of Cups and being clarified. The Seven of Cups. Five of Cups, past his appointment. So you've dealt with this person before. You know how they are. You know they can't be trusted. So you're just blocking them off. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Eva, Gemini. It could be a water sign. And I'm saying earth sign because we have the Queen of Pentacles. But put it where it goes for you. Clarifying the Two of Swords is the lovers. Yep, this is someone used to date. Also Gemini energy. You're blocking them off. They want you back because they are in love with you. You are not in love with them. They are doing a love spell on you, though. Judgment. Yeah, you have the final say. So you are unfazed. You are unbothered. I feel like the more spell work they do on you, the more they become in love with you, the more they become entranced. So all their spell work is backfiring. The more they try to do this to you, the more you don't want them and the more they fall in love with you. I feel like you're unaffected by them, period. Your sexual energy is increasing because of it, but it's not for them. It makes you want to reject them even more while they're falling more and more in love with you. So it's like it's reflecting off of you. It's like they're casting the spell on themselves by accident. It just backfires. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles is the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. And this person may not even know anything about spell work or witchcraft. They're just trying to make things that they know you'll like to make you fall more in love with them. Like trying to make your favorite dish or get your favorite drink or favorite whatever. I feel like it's definitely to do with food and drink. The Empress, Libra, and Taurus. With the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And the Wheel of Fortune is Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Okay, so this can go for family, friend, work, love, career. Someone's trying to sway you in their direction to get something out of you. Or they, I feel like this is a planner plot. It has a, um, of course it has uh, other intentions. Like they're trying to get you to be on their side or their team in order to get back at someone or just to possess you. I don't know why. I feel like this Empress is trying to switch spots with this Queen of Pentacles. So there's a Libra trying to switch places with a Taurus or a Taurus trying to switch places with a Libra. That's weird. Cause I'm literally seeing like she's trying to switch places. This Empress is trying to switch places with this Queen of Pentacles. I don't know what that has to do with anything. This could be your mother trying to replace a friend of yours. I also feel like if you have a friend or family member that's pregnant and you are not, they, they want to switch places with you or they're trying to put you in the position that they are in. Or say, for instance, you're pregnant and they want to be. They're trying to... Um, put you in their situation they're trying to be like you i feel like someone wants to switch places with you or they're trying to be like you because i feel like this queen of pentacles is unencumbered single um unbothered and then this empress is burdened with the weight of children even though that's not i'm not saying it's a burden i'm just saying that this person feels that way or maybe they feel like you're blessed to have this and they don't 
either way, whatever you fall in, this person wants to switch positions with you. Either they want to be pregnant or they want you to be like them or something like that. But I feel like whatever they're trying to, ah, oh, that makes sense. That is why they're casting this spell on you. That sexual energy, they're ramping it up so that you can have sex and get pregnant. <laughs> um, I don't see what they, like, even if that does happen, even if you do get pregnant, it's not going to be by them or with the person that they want you to be with. And you're going to actually be happy about it. That's what you wanted. You actually do this with the person that you're in love with. But I don't see you doing it. I don't see you becoming pregnant at all. I don't actually see you having sex either. Even though you have the sexual energy, I feel like you channel it into dancing or something. I, I don't see you having sex in the next 48 hours, even though you're feeling this energy. I feel like you just channel it into other stuff. I feel like you aren't, you're unbothered. You think it's funny. I like you're just dancing in your home unbothered by this energy. Cause I feel like this person wants you to be stifled by a pregnancy or someone who someone wants to make you pregnant just period clarifying the four swords is the page of swords yeah you block this person from spying on you so maybe i don't know if this person had like because like i said you may share a home with this person i don't know if they had um your social media or cameras or anything in which they could stalk you or follow you or see what you're up to do throughout the day but you've cut off communication with that so maybe you've unplugged the cameras or switched the wi-fi or you block them on social media you've cut them off so that they can't spy on you anymore. Yeah, with the wolf, that's like communication, a howling. So someone wants to check up on you. Then we have the king of wands here. There you are. Yeah, so someone spying on you, you've blocked them from being able to communicate with you and watch you. I feel like it's definitely on social media. It could be through the phone. No, you may have blocked them or changed your number or both. Over on the four of cups. Yeah, someone's trying to make you an offer. Four of wands, four of cups, and you're not interested. You're telling them no. So this could be someone you live with or this person wants you to come live with them. Uh, I feel like someone's trying to keep track of your period. See if you're pregnant or I feel like it's all to do with making you pregnant, ramping up your sexual energy. They're keeping tabs on your like period or sex life. This is weird as hell. Especially if this is your mom or they want you to become a mother. And I feel like you're just not falling for it. You're just laughing at them. I feel like you're playing this person like a fiddle. But yeah, this person, someone's in love with you or they want you to be in love with someone and you're just not having it. This is very strange, very strange energy. But, I mean, it has no effect on you. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing. She does commission work. Her Etsy link is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.